working on affordable housing is extremely satisfying. You meet people every day who are in need. You have ways that you can help them. A lot of this goes back to 2008. Uh, so when we had the recession, we lost uh, you know, half of our capacity to actually uh, build. On top of it, with the pandemic, then we started getting to the place where lumber prices, material prices, supply chain issues, and the stresses of that on the ability to produce houses as well. What we've been working on especially is 3D concrete printing. What you're doing is you're creating a large printer. Uh, you're attaching kind of a, a concrete pump to it. You're then introducing computers. I would compare it to a layer cake, right? So you're just building layers upon layers vertically and you have all kinds of different ways that you need to kind of control that and make sure that it's fitting uh, the right size and in the right direction and the, the coordinates that you set. 3D concrete printing is very customizable. So that's what's one thing that's very nice about it. We think it's wonderful to provide an affordable home that people can purchase, but it's also another thing to provide a home that people can afford to operate, right? And energy prices are rising. Uh, these houses that we've built and designed in the state of Virginia so far, they have very low operating costs. They're all electric. With the Williamsburg house, I was lucky enough that they asked me to be part of the dedication and to actually hand the keys to the owner. Welcome home. The owner is this amazing person who's a single mother who had worked three jobs during the pandemic to make sure that she would qualify to be able to afford the house. It's a real win in terms of how we might look at economic you know, growth and, and then it's helping people who might otherwise not have a chance to build equity and to grow their own economic footprint. It gives them options. I don't know that people understand affordable housing and the depth and breadth of not only the needs in it, but also how it works. It's a very large part of our population that needs better housing choices closer to where they need to work or live. And what this does, having affordable housing, it provides stability. We have a lot of tools in the, in the toolbox, right? 3D concrete printing is just one of them. The, the fun part is that we're actually part of this happening. Virginia Tech is a group that is playing in this sandbox actively. We have a lot of different researchers who are uh, trying to understand how the industry is gonna change and we should see more and more printing in Virginia. It's exciting. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia news and stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.